All right, good evening, everybody. So welcome to this year's Sunday School program, and we hope that tonight you'll be uh, super proud that you come out and watch the kiddos and most of all hear about the Christ of Christmas. All right, so without further ado, we're going to start off with number 22, O Come All Ye Faithful. But well, watch me, after the last chorus, we're going to go into another bridge, for he alone is worthy, all right? And that's when we can really ring it out, all right? For he alone is worthy, after the last chorus. First class, come on up. Light. 
Listen to to the Sabbath to milk us side at night. Thank you for the wise man who's helped so well with free gifts following the star. Thank you for this joy-filled Christmas, Jesus. You are Emmanuel, Christ come down to us. Christmas time. Again. Again. It's Christmas time again. Wow, time here really like flies. Some time ago, a buff man, an angel sang of his buff in the skies. It's Christmas time again. It seemed like yesterday. When babies was born and laid a manger away. It's Christmas time again. Time doesn't stand still. This baby came to die upon a cross on Calvary's hill. It's Christmas time again. Time is slipping away. Everlasting life you will have at Upset Christ as your Savior today.
Hope you're enjoying it so far. We're going to turn to number 20. And let's all sing together, joy to the world, the Lord has come. couple more minutes and we'll be started. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a pink pelican for the front yard. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two billy goats and a pink pelican for the front yard. Man, your singing sure puts me all up in the Christmas spirit. Except I get a little choked up hearing you sing about them two billy goats we got for Christmas last year. I remember sweet Odell and you, Dale, just like it was yesterday. They're the best pets ever. Now, Dan, cut that out and help me finish get the rest of these decorations put out. Mama's gonna have a fit if it don't look just right. Well, I don't know how it could look any better. It's a masterpiece. You have definitely got the touch. Mama's gonna be so proud. Well, I can't help it. I just get the vision in my head, and it happens. Well, I think the front yard's just about done. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Man, that Noel bomb, this is absolutely perfect. You outdid yourself this year, girl. I think my neck for decorating comes from my for ranch descent. I just love using my natural born talents to bless others. Well, nobody in the family's gonna believe that we didn't hire a professional to do all this. I'm so excited, I can't even stand it. I love Mama's idea to kick off the season with the first day of Christmas family get-together. And everybody's coming, because theme parties are so in right now. Yeah, it'll be a big old birthday party for Jesus with all the family celebrating together. It's going to be the best Christmas ever. Yeah, and Uncle Sternenbaum's coming, Aunt Jernenbaum, Cousin Frannenbaum. Grandma Grannenbaum. And Cousin Dirk. Yeah, bless his little old heart. He went through that awkward stage as a teenager and just never seemed to quite grow out of it. Dressing all crazy and talking funny? You just don't know what causes some folks to turn out the way they do. Last I heard, he was at something called an Ivy League school. I just hope it ain't poison, Ivy. <laughs> Boys, cut that out. Not Ivy. Ivory. You know, that's the school that teaches you to make the soap that floats. Now, that's a trade that'll make him a good living. No, Ivy League is where you learn to go do landscaping and yard kind of stuff. You know, Ivy. Well, he's just as much a bomb as the rest of us, no matter what he does. 
Now, Dan, you got a minute to come help me finish playing the poinsettias in the bathtubs in the front yard? Nan, you got a minute to come let me know if you think we have enough blow-up snow globes on the roof? Sure thing! setting up that big screen TV in the front yard and playing a slideshow of our old Christmas pictures really took the yard up a big notch this year. I'll say, we got people stopping by to take pictures and it's blocking up traffic for blocks. Well, it's all about adding that extra little touch of class. Maybe next year we ought to think about charging admission. Now, Dan, don't you go commercializing Christmas. This is a season of giving, and that's what we do for the folks that pass by. We give them a spectacular, breathtaking Panama Rama of Christmas that we will hope will inspire their hearts. <laughs> that was beautiful, Pam. I could have said it better myself. That's exactly why I tried so hard. To... Excuse us! We knocked, but the door was open, so we just. Nan and Bomb, is that you? Wow, how are you, girl? It's so great to see you again. It's Ginger, Ginger Bedhouse. I haven't seen you since we graduated from Douglas Fair Middle School. Wow, it's so great to see you again. 
I missed you so much. You know, you were always one of the most favorite people in the world. Remember how close we were back then? Especially when we tried out against each other for a cheerleader. And who won? Well, I did. Of course you did. You're so gymnastic. Show me those spirit fingers, girl. Uh, yeah, Ginger. I do remember the cheerleader tryout spot. I don't remember us ever hanging out together. And then there was that time we got even closer. No way. Yes way! We like to inspire the phrase BFF. We did? Well, excuse me, ladies. My name's Tannenbaum. This is my brother, Tannenbaum. And we're just delighted to have you here. But was there anything in particular y'all needed? Oh, wow! I'm like so sorry. Like I said, I'm Ginger. This is my assistant, Jingle Bells. We are reporters for the newspaper. Someone down here called us and asked to write an article about the big Christmas function happening here. And I was like, wow, we could totally include this in our feature called The Christmas Chronicles. Did you come up with that name yourself? It is so brilliant. Yeah, did you really like it? Love it. Uh, well, Ginger, it was awful good to see you again. And thank you for the trip down memory lane. But we are having a big family get-together reunion here today, but I don't know who to call y'all to come and do an article about it. Um, guilty. I just couldn't help myself. I just thought there's probably tons of folks that wish they could be a part of a family get-together like this. And I thought, what a wonderful way to spread some bombastic love with those less fortunate. Oh, wow! That is so thoughtful of you. And I think that should totally be the title of our feature, A Bombastic Christmas. Did you come up with that name yourself? It is so brilliant. Yeah, I did. You really like it? Love it. Dan, thank you for that brilliant piece of inspiration. Well, Mom always said I was the brains of the family. We can so tell that. She did? Well, we're going to run around and take some pictures so no mind us at all. I'll need to get some info from the rest of your family, but we can do that later. I hope we have extra memory cards. We're definitely going to need them. Do you guys mind if you, like, stay for the party? Wow, great! Thanks! I'd love to interview some of your family members and see what you guys ha have planned. Well, just the regular Christmas party kind of stuff. Christmas sleigh demolition derby in the backyard. Capture the garland on the greased pig. Oh, don't forget the Christmas karaoke competition. The whole family's been practicing for weeks. Oh, I'm so excited. I just know I could win it this year. I've been practicing for weeks. I got the perfect song. I'll be right back. Oh, wow, that sounds way too fun. I'm just so glad that Jean and I get to experience it all today. I think the whole thing could be totally life-changing. Don't you think so, Jean? You know what's life-changing for me, Ginger? Working with you. You are the best boss ever. Oh, isn't she the best sweet assistant ever? Could she be any sweeter? Probably not. But anything's possible. Well, I believe that Christmas is a life-changing experience. People can say whatever they want, but Christmas is about Jesus coming to the world to change the world, to change us. That's what the first day of Christmas party is all about. Celebrating the day that God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to the world to save us. Emmanuel, God with us. I want to play y'all a song that I've been practicing. But Nan, I was wondering if you could help me with some choreography. She's the best dancer in the world. She knows 52 more steps than anybody. Well, all right, Dan, we better hurry. The kinfolk gonna be here any minute. Let me hear it. Bye. 
push the gloomy clouds of night And dust dark shadows put to flight Yummy! You girls ain't lived till you've tasted some of Nane's Christmas possum. Oh, wow! We can't wait! It totally sounds delicious. Uh, did you guys, like, forget about me? Oh, wow! I'm, like, so sorry! We've been having such a mesmerizing visit with the bombs that I completely forgot you were waiting in the car. You guys, this is our photographer, PC. Well, howdy there, Mr. PC. My name's Tannenbaum, this is my brother, Danenbaum. Well, actually, my given name's Daniel Navidad Baum. It's Spanish. And his is Tanner Not Baum. He's German. And we're just delighted to have you here. Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Happy holidays. PC, how many memory cards do you have? I'm sure we're going to need extras. Um, I think like two or three, but I'll text Message Journey and ask him to bring over some more. Now, there's no need for any more chicks, Mix. We got plenty of vittles for everybody. Tan, you are so behind the times. He didn't say Chex Mix, he said Tex Mix. PC, if that's what you're looking for, it's a great little Mexican place down the street. I ate there all the time, being Spanish and all. They got the best quesadillas in town. Okay, sure. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, you guys, why don't we start outside, wait for people to arrive. Once they do, we'll get a few interviews. Ginger, you always come up with the best plans ever, and I love it when you rhyme your instructions. Oh, wow, isn't she the sweetest ever? I think I see some people driving up now. Let's go catch them as they're coming in. Can't wait to meet your family. Well, the possum turned out just perfect. Hey, I think they're here. Hey, y'all, come on here in this house. How you doing? Good to see you. Oops. Uncle Stan and Bob. I missed you so bad. Hey, Aunt Jane and Baum, you want to go play some horseshoes or tiddlywinks? <laughs> Cousin Fran and Baum, Grandma Grand and Baum, I miss you two so much. Hey, Tan, I think this party could use a little music. Sure thing. Drop in the 
Bears, no. There they are. sight you ever did see. All the kinfolk gathered together for Christmas. This is the best gift I ever could get. I've been looking forward to this all year. Me too, Dan. Merry Christmas, Cousin Nan. I apologize for being so tardy, but I had a very difficult time maneuvering through the traffic on the street. Aw, oh, that's okay, Dirk. Don't you worry about that at all. We're just glad you made it. Hey everybody, Dirk's here! Cousin Dirk, I miss you so much! Cousin Nan, I have a very special surprise for you. I know how much you and Tan and Dan love the Christmas season, so I decided to bring a very special guest to our gathering. It's a friend I met years ago in the aerospace engineering program at Harvard. See Nan, I told you he didn't make no soap, he runs a train! Say, Dirk, you think I could ride that aerospace train with you sometime? And I ain't, I could wear my conductor's hat and all, and I ain't never been to the town of Harvard. It's gonna be great. Yeah, sure, Dan. Anyways, the two of us have stayed in touch throughout the years, and the, I found out recently that she is the reigning Miss World Christmas and is currently on a world tour promoting the spirit. Heart the Herald Angels Sing! It can be. It's my dream come true. My dear family members, I present to you Patricia Gina Pear Tree. I'm going to faint. <laughs> Damn! Get up, Dan. Get up, Dan. Where did that music Dan. come from? Now, Dan, get up. Quit acting so silly. We got company. Well, we're just plum honored to have such a celebrity in our midst. How did we get so blessed to have you wind up here? Well, like Dirk almost said earlier, I've been traveling around the world this month promoting the true spirit of Christmas. And it just so happened I had a layover here today. So I called Dirk to see if he had any plans for the day, and he invited me to come here. Oh, wow! Hello, Patricia Gina. I'm Ginger Bedhouse, and it's such an honor to meet you. I've read all about you. I always keep up with the Miss World Christmas. I was Miss World Christmas in Winston County in 1989. Now don't be so modest. I'm Persistent Jingle Bells, 
She never likes to brag on herself, but she also won a talent competition playing Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. On her bassoon, it brought the house down. Ginger, do you have a bassoon with you? You can totally play it for us. It's at the office. Wow! I've never in a million years dreamed I would meet a Miss World Christmas. Well, it's great to meet you too, Ginger. It's like visions of sugar plums are dancing around all in my head. Well, come on in here, girl. We're glad you made it. You're just in time to eat. Dirk, I made possum. Mm-mm. I could hardly stand the anticipation. <laughs> Dirk seems to be a little different from the rest of your family. Was he adopted or something? Shh! No! <laughs> it, damn. No, he wasn't adopted. We all know that Dirk is a little different from the rest of us. But we just accept him for who he is. We can't help that he ain't brought up in the culture like the rest of us. For some reason, his mama never taught him all the social etiquette of the bomb clan. So we, we don't really realize that he ain't like us, so we just love him for the little old Dirk he is. Yep, we just love him and accept him for who he is, and we also keep it on the down low so he doesn't hear us. Well, your family is just delightful. They are all so sweet, and I can tell that you all really love Christmas. We sure do, Miss Pear Tree. What an amazing job to have traveling around the world, experiencing the season of Christmas. I'd love to see the wonderful ways in which people celebrate Christmas in different countries. I have had an amazing time so far. My mission has been to help people see how the Christmas season really unites the world. That no matter what color we are, what language we speak, where we live, where we work, Jesus was born for all of us. And also, since most of the songs we sing at Christmas are all about Jesus, even people who say they don't believe in him will sing songs that glorify his name at Christmas. That's why I think there is more unity in the world during this time than at any other. I believe that's why there's such a sense of comfort, joy, and peace during Christmas. People all over the world are worshiping the Lord at the same time. Now, ain't that just amazing to think about? It sure is. <laughs> it's just like that cross stitch that Grandma Grandenbaum made that says, Jesus is the reason for the season. Patricia, I'm awful glad Dirk invited you here today. We just feel so blessed to have you in our home. Having gotten to meet you here today, we'll definitely make this the Christmas to remember. Now how about some possum? Hey everybody, the food is all set up in the barn. So head on into the kitchen, grab your china plate, and head on out there before the animals get wind of the vittles. And don't forget not to throw away the plastic utensils. You know how I like to save those for special occasions. Well, I done laid my teeth down somewhere, and I can't find them anywhere. How am I going to eat possum without no teeth? You want to borrow mine? We can share. That'd be great, friend. You've always been so good to me. You know you've always been my favorite.
PC, what you doing in here all by yourself? Don't you want to come eat with the rest of the family? No thanks, I appreciate you asking. I got some shots of everybody eating, but I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to possum. Oh my goodness, you poor old thing. Yeah, that's the breaks, man. I think I'll just hang out in here until the karaoke competition starts. All right, then. Man, your family sure knows how to put away the food. Boy, I'm telling you, they don't mess around when it comes to Nan's possum. So, uh, PC, what you gonna be doing for this holiday? Uh, not too much, I guess. I've never really been all that into Christmas. To be honest, I don't really see why people get all into it anyway. It's just some kind of holiday, except I don't have to go to work. It's the one good thing about it, I guess. Boy, you're sure missing out, PC. Like the song says, Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. Don't you celebrate it at all? Not really. It all just seems too super crush to me. Now, I know I'm old, and I don't keep up with all the new lingo these days. But what in the world does that mean? Oh, super crush? It's just a slang word for super Christian. You know, people who try to act all goody-goody and want people to look at Christmas like they do. A lot of my friends think that it's offensive for people to try and force Christmas on people who don't believe in it. I mean, do you really believe the story about the manger and the angels and the star? Believe it. PC, I base my life on it. Jesus is real. Whether you believe it or not, he is. It makes me so sad to hear people say they don't believe in Jesus. I mean, he came to this world to save us so we can live with him forever. So you think you're going to live forever? I do. I know one day this part is going to play out and I'm going to leave this world, but as a Christian, now I know that when that time comes, my spirit's going to be with him in heaven. Well, my friends think that the stories about Jesus are kind of like fairy tales. Too impossible to believe. The angel Gabriel talking to Mary, the virgin birth, the wise men following the star, whatever. It sounds like you know a lot about Christmas. I mean for someone that doesn't believe in it. Well, I grew up going to church. And when I got older, the stories about Jesus just kind of seemed silly. Too impossible to believe. Well, that's why you got to believe with your heart. Our minds can't understand all the wonderful ways of Jesus, but that's where faith and trust come in. I have faith that Jesus' word is where the rubber meets the road, that it's the absolute truth. I trust he knows where I'm going, and whenever hard times come, he's always there helping me get through it. And you know what? Even though you're having trouble believing in him, he believes in you. He loves you, PC, and he's got great plans for your life, too. That all sounds good, but why should I believe that? Well, let me put it to you like this. By believing in Jesus, I live my life full of joy and hope, knowing that one day he's going to come for me and I'm going to be with him in heaven. I, I know he hears me when I pray, and all things are possible with him, because I love him. Now tell me, what do you gain by not believing in him? Uh, I'm not sure. Never thought about it like that before. Well, that's all I'm asking you to do. Think about it. Think about Jesus and how much he loves you. Believe that it's all true, because it is. You know, Mama calls this our first day of Christmas party, and today could be the first day of Christmas for you. The first day that you realize that Jesus is the Son of God, and that he came to earth to save us. Believe it, PC. He's reaching out to you today, son. You know, me and you meeting here, I don't think that was any type of accident. I believe that he fixed it all up just so me and you could have this little talk. You think so? I know so. Would you mind if I prayed for you, like right now? I guess that'd be okay. Sweet Lord Jesus, I want to pray for my little brother PC right now. I'm asking you to show him the way, Lord. He's got a lot of people telling him things that aren't true. So I'm praying that he'll listen to you and let you, let you tell him what the truth is. I pray that he'll put his trust in you and you, that your spirit would help him understand how much you love him. Today we're celebrating the day you came to this earth and to save us. And I pray through all the things PC hears and sees, he would decide to let you come into his heart and start a friendship with you. Lord, you are so good, and I worship you with all my heart. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, Tan. I never had anybody pray for me like that before. Well, I'm going to keep right on praying for you then. Woo! While we're all recuperating from lunch, I think it would be a good time to get Tan to read the Christmas story from the book of Luke. This is a tradition that Mama and Daddy started when me, Tan, and Dan were just little old Betty Thanks. So let's honor our Savior by reading and singing about the first day of Christmas. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy. That will be good for all people. For unto you is born today in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. 
you will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those whom he is pleased.
ever. Don't you think so, Jing? The sweetest ever. And you were so sweet to say it was the sweetest. And girl, who'd ever known you liked possum so much? You must have had about three or four helpings. I know. It wasn't like anything that I've ever tasted. Sort of tasted like chicken. That is exactly what it tasted like. You always don't want to describe things to perfection. You know, I've tried a lot of exotic dishes on this tour around the world, but I don't think I've tasted uh, anything quite like the food we had today. Yes, Nan. This was a scrumptious banquet of your finest delicacies. I don't like to brag on myself, but I will. Everybody just begs me all the time to just open up my own restaurant. I'm just not sure the world is ready for my possum yet. PC, I saw you leave the barn a while ago and thought you meant to go meet up with Ernie. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's great. Tan and I got to talking about some things, and maybe we should get together sometime too soon and talk some more. Sure thing. You just let me know when and where. I'll, all right, then. I'll just call you. I'll text Max you all the details. Oh, you want to meet me there? Well, Dan will probably want to come. Want to come where? Want to come where? Tan, tell me, tell me. I'll just call you. All right, y'all. Now, it's time to get this party started. Now, we could either start with mud wrestling the hogs or Christmas karaoke. Now, I'd be so happy to start the singing off myself with one of my most favorites we were singing about a while ago. It's kind of my theme song. <coughs> the first Noel, the angel stand say. Mud wrestling it is. Let's go. I brought my back in, board. Now, wait just a minute. Y'all come back here. Y'all are just jealous. Let's just dismiss in a word of prayer. Lord, we want to give you thanks tonight that you are the true meaning of Christmas, Lord. And we just pray that as we celebrate this Christmas time, that we will never forget that we are here, that we are celebrating your birth, Lord, the one that came to this world to die for our sins. Lord, we just want to give you the thanks and the praise that you and you alone deserve. In your name's sake, amen. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Have a great holiday season. Merry Christmas.